everyone welcome to my channel today i am in this part of town so i decided to do a short video on the kapitan keling mosque this is the largest mosque in the inner city of georgetown penang before i go any further let me give you the address and location coordinates key the coordinates into your gps google maps or ways and you will be navigated to the mosque there are entrances to the mosque on pitt street Julia Street and Buckingham Street. It was established by the headman or capitan of the Indian Muslim community way back in around 1800. The name Kaling comes from the Indian Hindu kingdom and since the beginning of Penang's history was the name used locally to describe South Indians. The name Kaling comes from an ancient Hindu kingdom and since the beginning of Penang's history was the name used locally to describe South Indians. The land for the mosque was originally 18 acres. It was granted by Lieutenant Governor Sir George Leed to the Indian Muslim community. But in the subsequent decades, as the population of Georgetown grew, the government had to buy back parcels from the mosque in order to construct various social amenities. The Campbell Street Market, which we will see at the end of this video, was built on cemetery land that once belonged to the mosque, as was the central police station on Clement Place. Kapitan Keling himself died in 1834 and was buried at Kampung Kolam, not far from the mosque. However, the mosque that we see today bears no resemblance to the mosque that he established. That's because it has undergone two major renovations and expansions. The first, in the 1910s, gave the mosque a British Mughal revival style with domes, turrets, the large minaret and a madrasa. In 1930, another renovation was carried out as the previous design was deemed impractical. This time, the mosque was not rebuilt but enlarged. It has since undergone further refurbishments and restorations, but keeps to the appearance of the 1930s. In 2003, the Kapitan Keling Mosque underwent another refurbishment that closed it for a year. It was to deal with water seepage and poor drainage that was affecting the building. We are now walking along Buckingham Street. The properties here are on land belonging to the mosque. The street is known in Penang Hokkien as Sin Ke Tao, literally, front portion of the new street. The new street or Sin Ke is the name given to Campbell Street which developed into a major retail street for the Chinese, especially in the mid-20th century. We are now crossing the junction of Sek Chuan Lane, named after Ku Sek Chuan, a big landowner in the 19th century. Sek Juan Lane was known in Penang Hokkien as Tua Mui Lao Ao, meaning behind the big arch because there used to be an arch at Sek Juan Lane facing Julia Street. We are now approaching the intersection of Buckingham Street with Carnarvon Street. Beyond Carnarvon Street is Campbell Street and to our left is the Campbell Street Market. The 18 acres of land that was originally granted to the Kapitan Keling Mosque extended up to here and beyond until Clayman Place. So that's the wrap for this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a like, share it, subscribe to this channel and do hit the notification bell. And I look forward to bringing you another video very soon. Until we meet again, thanks for watching.